Before the video starts guys, check out our sponsors Nature's Blends. They specialise in premium Ethiopian black seed products. Their products are fantastic health supplements and also from the Sunnah. The website is in the description link below. You can also use the discount code SALAM10 for 10% off their products. What are you guys waiting for? So brothers and sisters, I wanted to react to this specific video and alhamdulillah it's amazing. I found it profound. It's so short, it's, it's, I think it's 15 seconds or 10 seconds, but it's such a short video, but it speaks volumes. It tells us so much about Tawheed, about Allah's Asma wa Sifat, His names and His attributes, uh, and you know, all those aspects, you know, when I was watching this, I was just like, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I want us to watch it together, inshallah. We'll get straight into the video. This is absolutely amazing, mind-blowing, yeah? Okay, and let's watch it together, yeah? Okay, here we go. I've got I've got it on my phone. So I'm gonna put it on the screen for you guys, yeah? Okay, here we go. So we before the video starts, here we go. So it's there's a bacteria. They've pinpointed where the bacteria is. The white blood cell and the red blood cell. Yeah, okay, so let's watch and see what happens. Here we go. Okay. Watch carefully. Yeah, this is absolutely this, this, this is amazing. This here, I don't know how long was this video. I don't know, was it like 10 seconds or something like that? 17 seconds, yeah? Let's watch it again. Look what's happening, brothers and sisters, yeah? The white blood cell is chasing the bacteria. Literally chasing it down through the red blood cells and boom! Yes, we got him. And terminating the disease. To an atheist, not like an arrogant atheist, not atheists all the same. Like Allah says in the Quran, uh, in, to us, like, not all Christians are the same. Yeah, Laysu Sawa. Yeah, not all the people of the book are not the same. Yeah, this is amazing. This is so profound. Just think about it. If an arrogant atheist watching is going to be like, oh, what's the big deal? You know, it's the evolutionary process getting on with what it's doing. You know, random events, random explosions, and uh, boom, pow, you know, uh, like, uh, you know, just random things that are happening. Brothers and sisters, when I look at this, this confirms so much to me. Number one, I see order. I see a system. I see order. I don't see chaos. I see order. I see a white um, blood cell chasing down a bacteria to eliminate it. That is order. That is functioning. Order. That's organization. That's systematic. That's plan. That's um, irada. That's, that's will. There's, a, there's, there's some kind of will there. You might call it, it's, it's like some kind of just bacteria. But something so minute and so small on that level, on a micro level, it's actions happening. There's a, it's like a factory. It's, it's, it's movement. I don't know how else to explain it. You can clearly see from that video that the bacteria is running for its life. It's like a police chase. It's literally like a police chase. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that, prof that confirms to me a creator. No shadow of a doubt. No shadow of a doubt. And that's the reason why a lot of the times atheists just cannot get out of it. You know, with a new argument that the brothers in the Tao we formulated, is the contingency argument, which is a very problematic argument for them, they cannot get out of it, that we require a necessary cause. Why? Because all of these things require a necessary existence, a necessary being. A bacteria, a white cell, random, just popped out the Big Bang, boom, exploded, and these bacteria said, oh, hey, how are we doing there? Oh, let me go. I mean, these, uh, these, all these atoms and all these things in, in, in our atmosphere, the dark matter, you know, all these things in our atmosphere. Imagine, look at how it's chasing the bacteria. It's like, yo, yo, come here fam. Yeah, it's like a thirsty brother searching for marriage, yeah? And that's where the marriage documentary is coming out. Inshallah, very soon, brothers and sisters, looking amazing. But that's another topic. We don't want to divert off topic, yeah? Brothers and sisters, they're chasing it. Now, that shows to us that if that there is design, it requires a designer. It, that, if that has some kind of power in what it's doing, it requires the powerful. If that there, the white cell knows what it's doing and the bacteria knows what it's doing, that requires an 
all-knowing. Because how could the one who's created the heavens and the earth create these and not be the all-knowing, the all-powerful, the most wise, the most merciful? Brothers and sisters, this affirms Allah's Tawheed, His oneness, His oneness in Rububiyyah. We single Him out in His Lordship and what He does. We single Him out in worship because once we affirm Rububiyyah that He is the Lord of the heavens and the earth and we single Him out in all those actions and He does not need Jesus, peace be upon Him, or Muhammad, peace be upon Him, or Buddha, or whoever you want to call it, and He does that, Him and Him alone. We then have to affirm, affirm His Uluhiyyah. That we single you out in worship. You alone we worship and you alone we ask for help. Brothers and sisters, this is Tawheed. This is what the religion has come down for. The main thing and all the problems that we have around us, it all relates back to a lack of Tawheed. And that's something that we discuss in the marriage documentary. And how it ties in with haram relationships and all kinds of other aspects of the marriage. We're going to go in depth. But here, watching that bacteria chasing that, Wallahi, it just makes you want to go in sajda. Wallahi, prostrate. And Wallahi, I mean this from the bottom of my heart, brothers and sisters. You're watching that and it's so profound. I'm so overwhelmed by it. And brothers and sisters, Wallahi, those who can see, and I'm not talking with the eyes, but with the heart. Wallahi, la ilaha illallah. You cannot say nothing but praise Allah, subhanallah. Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah That you have to praise His glory Brothers and sisters, if that does not move your heart If that does not make you think Wow Wallahi, another wow that we have to say is to our dead heart Our heart is dead If we cannot look at that and say Subhanallah Amazing And affirm Allah's names and His attributes Brothers and sisters, Wallahi, this video has 17 second video has blown my mind away and the credit goes obviously to the brothers who shared it in the Hyde Park group that we're in and I found that amazing and I wanted to share that reminder with you guys brothers and sisters and wallahi it's the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the shahada comes with seven conditions first of them is knowledge brothers and sisters once you acquire the knowledge you implement it you put it into practice you have certainty. You are truthful to it. You live by it. They say that every vessel swears what's inside it. Once Iman enters the heart, once you understand Tawheed, once you understand His glory, I'm not going to come here and tell you to worship Allah because of hellfire. Why don't you worship Allah for His love, for His mercy, for His Rahmah? Because over there, that white cell chasing that bacteria is a Rahmah from Allah. It's a mercy that Allah has put these things in our bodies and His places that when you get a cut, boom, it's like a factory. Get in, get the job, get the job going, let's go. It's, it's, it's communication, even be it our DNA. Brother says, Wallahi, I'm so sorry, I'm really passionate. But Wallahi, I hope this has moved you guys as much as it has moved me. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because His signs are everywhere. His signs is ayah. Ayats are not just in the Qur'an and the verses. Nah. Wallahi, look around you. That's why Allah says in the Qur'an, in Surah Imran verse uh, 189 to 190, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In fi Indeed, in the alternation of in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and in the alternation of night and day, there are signs for those who have think wisdom, a brain, literally think. Think, brothers and sisters. Wallahi, it was absolutely mind-blowing, and that's exactly something that I wanted to share with you guys. And wallahi, I do not know anything else that I can say. But la ilaha illallah. Alhamdulillah for Islam. And a dua, one last thing that I want to share with you guys, brothers and sisters, is download this app for your adhkar. Yes, a lot of people that are going through anxiety, uh, depression, waswasa, do your morning and evening adhkar, brothers and sisters. And the reason why I'm saying that is because it has changed my life and staying up with this and especially being in the dawah scene even i we all suffer from so i would highly highly recommend you guys to inshallah do that and there's something specifically that i want to share with you guys inshallah uh, this is a dua the, the prophet the prophet specifically um 
it's, it's, it's for one of your atqars. Let me just get you guys it. Okay, I think it's this one. Yes. Raditu billahi rabba wa bil islam dina wa bi muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nabiyan. Yes, it means I am pleased with Allah as my Lord, with Islam as my deen, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as my messenger. There is no Muslim, and this is Abu Dawood, uh, there is no Muslim servant who says in the morning and in the evening, three times I am pleased with Allah as my Rabb, with my Lord, and with Islam as my religion, and with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a prophet, except that it will be a right upon Allah to please him on the day of judgment. Brothers and sisters, get the app. I'll put a link as well, inshallah. Download it, implement it in your life. Raditu billahi rabba wa bil islam dina wa bi muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nabiyan. We are pleased with our Lord and Islam is our deen and the Prophet is our final messenger. Do not let the doubts and shubahat and the lies mess with your iman. Stay strong, watch brothers in the Dao scene, Ayera, uh, Brother Muhammad Hijab, uh, 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 my, my personal teacher, Shaykh Abu Safiya. Alhamdulillah, we are out there combating these lies and trying our best. May Allah bless you guys for supporting our work. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.